Hello. Welcome to Literally My Way. My name is Jean. And thank you for visiting with us today. Today my focus is on art. I have a deep, profound love of art. Crafts, the classics, it doesn't matter. I just love art and I love museums. Speaking about museums and about art, my focus for this video is on artists and their inspiration. Recently, my husband and I attended the Dali Museum, the Salvador Dali Museum in St. Petersburg, Florida. That's where this cup comes from. And I'm just sipping a little tea out of it today. Well, anyhow, Salvador Dali has been a love of mine for years. I've been fascinated by his eclecticism. I've been just fascinated by his works. Hadn't had a chance for over 30 years. I've been wanting to go to that museum. Had trips planned, had never made it. And finally, that bucket list, that bucket item is checked off of that bucket list. And I had the most wonderful time. So stay tuned for pictures and a little about our visit. I'm sure you'll enjoy those. Okay, up above on my wall is one of my prints by Picasso. I also, another person I love, Picasso. When I went to Spain, Years ago, I loved being at the Prado and looking at his work, his works. Bought several books, bought several prints, and loved the different phases, some phases more than others, that he went through. When he and Picasso, so there's a book on Dali, there's several books on Dali, there's several books on Picasso, and we'll be focusing on that. Over under the Picasso is one of the Diego Rivera's, another person that I love, as well as his wife, Frida Kahlo. Love their works. Um, her work is a little more disturbing for me, but also I understand her pain and her emotions as she painted her, her paintings. So again, I appreciate her work. Um, Diego, uh, excuse me, Diego Rivera, again, love his work. Again, another person that I love when I went to the Prado and spent lots of time, as well as others, Goya, I mean, I can name several several that I fell in love with, or those that I've also was, was also already in love with. Um, the focus also will be on Lawrence Anho. Lawrence Anho uh, is an artist that I love what he does with his books, and his books are inspirational and will be inspirational in most to me for some upcoming posts. What I love about his books is that now he doesn't just focus on the artist, but he takes a theme within the artist's life, and that becomes the focus of his book as he shares those inspirations. One of the books is right here in front of me, Degas and the Little Dancer. Again, this one tells the story of this little dancer, how she met Degas, and how she inspired him, and at the same time how he helped her become one of the most famous dancers, even though she didn't get to dance in the recital of her life or of her dreams. Also behind me is Cezanne and the Apple Boy. And so that also shares a little about Cezanne and his son and how it came to be, um, the book that it is, and what role the apple has in that story also behind me is Matisse, the King of Color, and his influence, uh, or his inspiration, his muse. Um, and his muse inspired many things, but also brought out what he really wanted to do, although it was not something that was popular, but how it became popular, and how it becomes now one of the most uh, viewed attractions when you're in that town, and I'll share a little more about that. Camille and the Sunflowers, another one of the greats, and how Camille, um, Camille's a boy, by the way, and this is a friend, yes, how Camille influences um, Vincent Van Gogh. That one's about Vincent Van Gogh, but how he was influenced, and you've probably seen that, sun, that, flower, that print or that painting itself. And there are several others that I will be visiting, and so I just wanted to make sure you knew where we were going with this series and with Lawrence Anhold's book. And if you have a chance to collect, collect his books, I recommend them highly.
as well as the other books that I mentioned. With that being said, welcome, and I'll see you at the museum or in my post. Thank you very much.